Well, ladies and gentlemen, the clown man has outdone himself again. Reportedly, 6ix9ine did not get good news today. If, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys don't know who's laughing, well, that's Trippy Red laughing. Apparently, he finds it amusing that 6ix9ine is only projected to sell 50,000. That's right, 6ix9ine Tattletale sales projection has been decreased. Is now expected to sell 50,000 first week. You got blue face, couldn't wait to write. Damn, 6ix9ine fell off. Little dirt coming through, sliding right into Chicago, you know, Chicago general that he is. This what happens when you go against the voice, LOL. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a or I basically he's trying to write, I'm going to outsell him with my eyes closed. And blue face shined him again. Man, he would still be alive right now if dudes ain't gassed him up. These are facts. Even little TJ is taking jabs. Man, the whole world's about to take jabs early this morning. Now, many of you guys know the feuds between both rappers. Many of you guys know the up and downs that they both been through. The back and forths. They started working collaboratively together on different songs. But then 6ix9ine turned up when he seen Trippy came at him sideways. And things shifted from then on. And... You see the escapades what this became. 6ix9ine has took on the moniker of a snitch. He has taken on the raff, being Dennis the Menace of hip hop. He wears it with a weird bravado that I've never seen a rapper held before. He doesn't get a, a chewed by anybody getting mad at him. He just keeps on trucking, and I feel like the likes of DJ Academics also helps him. Uh, many core following fans who are young adolescents also follow him. So you got a lot of people who follow 6 9 shenanigans, but as far as records being sold, well, people apparently showed they didn't have any loyalty. So the 50000 right now puts 6 9 in a predicament where he does not feel good, he's not accustomed to, and I feel like... Things behind the scenes are going to be said and excused, as you seen 6 ix 9 earlier with his Billboard interview. An uh, interview, by the way, I might add, that's only got ability to be done because everybody turned down the interview of 6 9 Shout out to Gilly the Kid and his mil Million Dollar Game Radio because they turned down the interview as well, uh, as well. So a lot of the requests are not being simplified as it might seem. To each his own, 6ix9ine will probably come out and say this was his whole game plan. This is what he had expected during the whole time. I mean, I felt uncomfortable with the situation in the first place. When I look at 6ix9ine, I see a figure that's probably finishing. His time is fading away. He's been in the stardom. He's been on the scene. Uh, he's given us all we can get from him, to be quite frankly honest with you. 6ix9ine career is not finished but as far as the record number sales that he was doing earlier and before i don't think he's seen much of that anymore or he will be seeing it anymore i think it's concluded so we much have to say are more rappers are gonna tend to flock towards his way to hate on him or more people are gonna throw it in his face all that cap he did was it worth it will more people learn from his escapades of what he's been doing over these last couple of years I don't know, man. These numbers look spooky. One thing I can actually agree with 6ix9ine, I do believe that the record companies, they hold you back. They select certain people. They pick favorites. But I mean, if you're 6ix9ine and you're going out the woodwork saying the billboards are paying for this, the industry is fake, then one would understand the, in the industry, even though although being is not fair, one will understand that the industry, of course, yeah, nigga, of course they're blackballing you right now. I mean, without a doubt, clearly. I just want to go one more time back to Trippy Red laughing his tail off after this situation unfolded. Let's go back to that Trippy Red laughing video. <laughs>
that was a laughing rendition done by Trippy Red himself. Now, when you look at the angles he's gonna take, I wanna know what is 6ix9ine gonna do? What angles is he gonna take from here? What is he gonna bring to the table? Now, the fact that he had to be limited to a billboard interview, you know what I'm saying? A nonetheless, an interview done by the very man himself, Mr. Charlamar. No, not Carlamar. I just butchered that. But he has to be settled down to an interview of Billboard, the very same organization and corporation that he went relentlessly against. So that right there should have told you all odds are against 6 9 right now. He's basically at the feet of many people in hip-hop right now it's like oh how the tables have turned maybe he might have a rise again maybe he might hit a booming effect again but for right now for right now we can truly say this is a bad one this is a bad hit and this hit is gonna be there for now you've seen different people responding and different people coming at him. I think we need to go back to that again. Let's read what they wrote. Now, the 6 9 Tattletail cells have been projected to sell only 50,000. We seen Blue Space responded, Little Dirk. We seen Little TJ. Let's see what other people were saying and what things are being said throughout this entire album. You got Candy Weaver say he's still more than blue face and tj why they laughing jeez this man has strong fans blue face sold twelve thousand. jeez this grand wizard dude is going crazy <laughs> and little tj sold seventeen thousand. gucci t said dirk only one who can can talk that my past uh one bro said blue face you sold twelve thousand. man finna be you know, chiefing on the 6 9 pack tonight. <laughs> Merms, I know Mr. Blueface sold 11,000. It seems to me people are more interested in coming at those who will go against the great 6 9 It seems that 6 9 has a core following that's a strong following. They're not going to be relentless. They're not letting up on 6 9 It seems like this is the trend. This is where it's going now. And as I've said before, 6 9 can do no wrong in the eyes of impressionable minds. These little 13 year olds, 12 year olds, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna be on a bandwagon of 6 9. Not only that, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, 30 year olds, 20 year olds, teenagers, people who are not in the quote unquote street life, people who are not giving their ties or pledging allegiance, Sam I am, to these streets. They're looking at this case. This is my entertainment. I love 6 9 I'm not going to stop watching them. That's what they're looking at. So for me, this is beyond me in the words of Ha Ha Davis. I feel like this is retribution for everybody who felt like they wanted to say something against 6 9 who did not like 6 9 from the beginning. I don't know, man. This whole thing looks wild. This whole thing look iffy as well. I mean, if they can do it to 6 9 who else they can do that to? Stopping your growth, stopping you from speaking. But nonetheless, I think this is sweet victory for many people, not just people in the rap game. Many people out there who are watching 6 9 Gloviate or Joviate, whatever you want to say, to, and just showing off, making sure he's in people's face 24-7 since he's been out. It's been non-stop subliminal disses or upfront disses and laughing at people's face as you're seeing right now and I, I think it's clear today we can know the last laugh is always going to be given to those of us like Trippy Red <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha